Greetings world, we are anonymous. We do not forgive, we do not forget. Expect us. The government of Alberta has been named as the sole defendant in a class action lawsuit that claims a solitary confinement practice violates the fundamental rights of inmates. A statement of claim filed in Calgary Court of Queen's Bench alleges the use of administrative segregation by Alberta Correctional Services can cause mental and physical suffering for inmates. Inmates subject to the cruel, inhumane, and degrading practice are confined to a cell for 23 hours a day, with one hour to exercise, shower, and make phone calls, the statement of claim says. The lawsuit was launched by a lawyer who said a significant portion of people who have spent time in Alberta Correctional Centers have been held in administrative segregation. That means the class could include thousands of people. Under Alberta law, in order for a class action to proceed, the suit must first be certified and approved by the Court of Queen's Bench. The statement of claim states the plaintiff was held in administrative segregation at the Edmonton Remand Center from August 2016 to the end of March 2018, and he wasn't even allowed to attend the funerals for his sister or father. Administrative segregation is handled secretly and idiosyncratically in Alberta Correctional Centers. The document says it's a punishment without a trial, unlike when segregation is used for disciplinary reasons. Administrative segregation is where you go into solitary confinement because the authorities think you've done something wrong but they can't prove it. It could also be used to protect sex offenders, people in gangs or those with mental health problems. Administrative segregation is almost always indefinite with some people spending prolonged periods of time separated from the general inmate population. But according to the statement of claim administrative segregation can cause or worsen mental health issues and it also lists several physical ailments allegedly prompted by solitary confinement including migraines, joint pain and heart palpitations. An Alberta Justice and Solicitor General spokesperson said it would be inappropriate to comment on the case as it will be before the courts. The statement stressed the importance of safety at Alberta Correctional Centers. This focus on safety and security is a key consideration in making decisions and in particular regarding housing placements and segregation for inmates. The statement reads, it's unconstitutional, it's illegal and it's unfair to people. A British Columbia Supreme Court judge ruled the practice unconstitutional in January, though the federal government is appealing the ruling. But on a societal basis the big concern is that it's doing exactly the opposite of what the criminal imprisonment system is supposed to do. Alberta Correctional Services are supposed to offer supervision, treatment and training of inmates with a view to their ultimate rehabilitation. Inmates, just as well as every other human being in this country have equal rights no matter what. Let's hope the government will find a way to address this problem. We are anonymous. We do not forgive, we do not forget. Expect us.